The number one way I know to raise your standard is to raise the standards of the people that are around you. When you start hanging around people that are living their life at a much higher standard, you're, it is impossible to stay the same. And so for me, that's, that's always been the case. And, and I've seen it play out in so many people's lives that again, when you think about that thermostat, when I start hanging around with people that are at a higher temperature, it is going to naturally make my temperature higher. It is gonna naturally bring my thermostat up. I'm constantly, constantly auditing the things that I'm letting in. And unfortunately, and fortunately, but unfortunately that also means the people that you're surrounding yourself with. Um, are they lifting you up or are they allowing you to stay complacent? Are they allowing you to stay comfortable? If I'm a certain temperature and I all of a sudden I surround myself that are at a much higher temperature, by being around them, of course it's going to raise my, my internal temperature. Like, of course that's going to happen. But the same is true for those people that are at a lower temperature than you. If all of a sudden you're at 80 degrees and you go hang around with a bunch of people at 50 and 60, your temperature is going to drop. And we have to be aware of this. We have to be super hyper aware of this when we find ourselves in scenarios with people that are bringing our temperature down. You know, I went through a, a period over the last five years of just rapid growth and transformation. Mm -hmm. And I separated from myself from a group of friends and I did it in a really bad way. Um, and looking back really, and just as we were kind of talking through this, I realized that you know, the whole, it's not you, it's me. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, that really is, and I've never really said this out loud, so I'm kind of thinking this through, but it wasn't that I was hanging out with the wrong people. It's the people that I was hanging out when I was the wrong person. Okay. I eliminated them from my life because of who I was when I was around them. Yeah. And so those people represented a time period for me that was painful and it was, it was like self-sabotaging and they were great people. Like they didn't have a problem in that era. <laughs> yeah. It was me that had the problem, but I eliminated or alienated myself from them, not because of anything that they did or didn't do. It was because they represented a version of me that I was trying to get far, far away from. Mm -hmm. I don't think I ever really communicated that very well to them, certainly, but even to myself that that was why I handled that so badly. I don't know if there can be danger in adding people too quickly. I think there can be danger in letting people go too quickly, um, just relationally. I know that's something that I've done a bad job of, of just completely alienating, alienating myself from groups of friends that I had and, and burned a lot of bridges and with those relationships that I wish looking back that I didn't. Um, and so yeah, I don't know if you can add people too quickly though. I, I don't know if, I don't know if that, I can't off the top of my head think of a scenario where all of a sudden having a, a bunch of new people enter my life that are all at living at a higher standard was necessarily a bad thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I would be careful because you're talking about human beings. You have to be very careful, you know, there's so much stuff out there on social media now with Gary Vee and people that are just like, cut everybody out of your life that's negative, even if it's your mom and your sister, like, these are human beings. Like, you, you gotta be careful in the way in which you go cutting people out of your life. Um, so I think you need to be uh, thoughtful in that process um, because you don't wanna burn bridges. 